Get up, Brian, get up here. Get your, har get your harmonic hat up here and let's, let's do this, all right? What page number is that? 305. <clears throat> That's a little loud. Good morning, everybody. Got your biscuits and gravy going? Um, take your hymn book, turn to hymn number 305. We'll just keep going with that, all right? Uh, he set me free. up and who needs coffee when you got three cords and a cloud of dust amen <clears throat> I hope everybody slept well last night I did slept good I didn't let any bed bugs bite we don't have any thank God for that but I hope you all slept good hope you had got enough to eat this morning we had the gravy perfectly measured out and uh, who was it? Nonine. Where is she? She came in from Florida. She got the last spoonful of gravy. And we don't mind the thunder, the lightning, or the rain. Okay? Now, <clears throat> if you're in here and you're a little cold, hang on to that. You're going to need that about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Okay? Because it's cloudy now and it's raining and we've had air running all night in here and it's nice and chilly and it's supposed to pop up to 100 degrees this afternoon. So if you are cold right now, suck it all in. Okay? <clears throat> and hang on to all of it because it's going to leave here quickly. Uh, good to be here with you this morning. We appreciate you coming back. And uh, we're going to try to finish up what we had started last night and then move on. I want to talk about Israel. I love Israel. I love God's people, and you need to. You need to love God's people, okay? And, and I will t I'm going to save all that for later. They're not good people right now. The Jews are not good people right now. But neither were we before we got saved, okay? They need a Holy Spirit just like we do. And so anyway, you pray for Israel this morning. <clears throat> but let's go to the Lord in prayer, and let's ask God to bless us and help us. And uh, we're just delighted to be here with you this morning. Heavenly Father... We do love you. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and uh, for filling our lungs with air and clearing our minds, dear God. And, Lord, I love the Bible because it says your mercies are new every day. And, Lord, 
The shame of it is, God, we need mercies new every day. Lord, we don't live how we really want to live. We don't do what we really want to do. But, Lord, we want to live right. We want to do right. We want to be right. And I pray, God, that you would help us every day. And Lord, provide mercy and grace to us, God, and just be with us. Father, we're going to study your word today. And, Lord, I don't know it all. I probably, Lord, if I were to just stop and think about it, Lord, I don't know very much at all. But I, your Bible has all the answers. And, Lord, Father, just give us a heart, Lord, to where we hunger and yearn for righteousness. Lord, you said we'd be filled. And we hunger, Lord, and we thirst for good things and for what we can learn from this Bible. Lord, help us to just spend a lifetime studying your word and gleaning from it and being blessed by it. And Lord, Father, just provide for us, Lord, the meat that we have, that we have need of today. And, Lord, Father, strengthen us. We're asking you, Lord, to rise as our friend and give us bread that we may eat and continue on our journey of life. Lord, the road is hard sometimes. It just seems like we have a long way to go. But, Father, Lord, would you rise today and give us bread. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for our salvation. And, Lord, just bless our fellowship today, we pray in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Uh, let's go back and refresh our minds a little bit back in 2 Peter chapter 2. Uh, and then we'll deal with what's on the screen here. Uh, excuse me, 2 Peter chapter 1. Um, Peter was talking, if you remember, Peter was up on the mountain of transfiguration. <clears throat> he, he, was, he wanted to build three tabernacles, one for Moses, one for Elijah, and one for Christ. And uh, no, Jesus, no, that's, that's not how it is. But he heard, he heard the voice of God. Now, I don't know what the, I, I don't think it sounds like Charlton Heston. Okay? Uh, or Alexander Scorby or anything like that. But he heard the voice of God in his, audibly, he heard it. And he, and he knew that God himself was saying, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And he's writing that. And he's letting you know that there's something that you can hang on to, something you can believe, more than just his testimony. Now, I will say to you this morning that everybody, you need a testimony. And if you're saved, you have one. Don't ever be afraid to tell people your testimony. And if you used to be a dirty, rat-bag, scumhead sinner, don't be afraid to tell people that. So I, now, don't say, now, I used to be like you. Okay? <laughs> Do that. Because <laughs> probably you still are. Okay? <laughs> Just tell them how you used to be. Tell them, tell them the things that you did. Tell them the, the lie that. Tell them how you used to hate God. You used to hate the Bible. You used to laugh at preachers. Tell them, tell them all those things. And just say, Jesus turned it around for me. God gave me grace. I, I was on the road to Damascus. And God saved me. So you tell people that. And you've got a testimony of what God said. And when, if they're not sure that they can believe you, then give them Bible verses. Okay? Uh, people all the time ask me, Pastor Mike, how do I answer somebody? How, boy, I want to really stick it to them. When, I, when they, they're in an argument with me over sodomy or this and that and the other, I want to really nail them. How, how can I do that? I said, just give them Bible verses. Just quote scripture. The Bible said they'll neither be able to gainsay nor resist the word of God. And so you just do that. So he says here in 1 Peter... Uh, chapter 16, for we have not, or excuse me, chapter 1, verse 16, for we have not followed cunningly devised fables, when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, by his coming, amen, he's coming again, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty, for he received from God the Father honor and glory, when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved.